brought me some uh, little goodies. Aluminum. How's that feel? Got some aluminum angle iron and uh, aluminum tubing and some zip ties and we are gonna make some rod holders. It's big enough for my saltwater rods and small enough I guess for lighter action rods. Either way, it's gonna be fun. We can use them for uh, surf fishing and shore fishing. I didn't understand. Much better. Placentas. <laughs> that looks pretty cool. That looks badass. I forgot there was a group message called Slimy Placentas. <laughs> Is that the old shit's message? I think so, yeah. I like the original. I the only oh it's, they changed to smell. Alright guys, put a little screw at the bottom. So you can drop a rod inside there and it will where's where's an easier one? Drop a rod in there, and it stops on the screw instead of the reel resting on the pipe. So there you have it, guys. It's that easy to make some rod holders if you have the right materials. You could obviously use some PVC pipe if you want it to be even easier. I mean, if you had a piece of PVC pipe, you could literally just chop the bottom at an angle, and you have a rod holder just that, just like that. Uh, but big thanks to my good boy, Peter Harley, bringing me all the material, building these for me, and Ben, with the help. Well, y'all, there you have it. Uh, it's that easy to make some rod holders. You can make it even easier by taking a piece of PVC. I don't have any PVC on me, but I'll give this as an example. I've got a Senko right here. So if you take a piece of PVC and cut it at an angle, 
then you'll have this sharp edge right here. It'll kind of be like this sharp edge like that. And uh, obviously the PVC already has a hole to put the rod into. And with that sharp edge, you can jam it right into the ground. And you already have a rod holder. All it takes is one cut, and there's a rod holder with a piece of PVC. So it could be even easier than it needs to be than the way that we did it. But if you have the material that I have, I mean, obviously, metal is going to stick into the ground better than plastic. So that's the reason why I wanted to do aluminum. If you like these how-tos and DIYs, let me know. If you have any ideas on what I should make next, let me know in the comment section below. And I'm going to keep on saying this until I hit 500 subscribers. So go hit that subscribe button, please, because once I hit 500 subscribers, our hooligans will be sending me a box to do a giveaway. And one of you lucky winners can be receiving that Harbor Hooligans gift box. So once I hit 500 subscribers, I will be sending out a gift box to one of you guys. So go ahead and smash that subscribe button while you're at it. Smash that big thumbs up button. I will see you all next time.